is back. Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10. We are here. iPhone 10 tease. Real Housewives of Atlanta has been on for almost 10 years. This is about to be the 10th season, 10 years of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We have lost a lot of women. We have gained a lot of women. Some women went to their part-time jobs and found out that they weren't paying enough, and then they came back. Nene, what's good? So Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10 released their trailer, and it seems like Nene wants to pick up where she left off at. She wants to come at everybody who has something to do with something. And Nene, I feel like it's a little too strong considering that you were off a season, and then you were doing this, and then you were kind of making a seemed like that you did not want to be on the show anymore and you were tired of it, you were moving on to, to bigger endeavors. But you're back and then you already bumping heads with Portia, you bumping heads with this person and I'm just like over it already. Fall TV is back girl, I'm excited about it. You can check out the trailer on kingareese.com. Kim Zosiak is back, she's trying to find out why Kenya ass is lying about her being married. Um, Candy is back. I wonder if they're gonna give us the episode where Candy and the old lady gang got that C, okay, but they turned around and got an A. But I wonder if they're gonna do that because, you know, one of my friends was on Facebook and he was there and they said they recorded a couple of, you know, things and stuff. So I wonder if they're gonna talk about old lady gang and all and what it happened. Old lady gang is doing good. I have not been there yet because that C kind of scared me even more, but I'll check it out. Maybe we can do some type of meet and greet there. We on, well, girl, they got a three hour wait time, so we got to figure that out. Cynthia is back. She got a new man, girl. The producer must have told Cynthia, girl, if you don't stay. Step it up this season, we're gonna have to really let your ass go because Nene ain't here, this ain't there. Cynthia has gotten rid of her husband on season nine. The child, she's showing a whole new man, she kissing him. I'm like, woo, Cynthia, this doesn't seem like Cynthia. So I wonder was Cynthia like comfortable with this? Was she forced to do it? Like, what's the tea? Like, what is it? But Cynthia said, girl, screw it. Peter is trying to hold on to his peach. He said, look, you are my um, lifeline. Like, I need this check. But Peter is talking to producers over at Bravo to produce his own show with that tight ass bar he got in Charlotte. So we'll see how that goes. Kenya is on there. We haven't seen anything of her husband or whoever she married on the islands, okay? On Anguilla with um, Demita Joe. We haven't seen any of that. Now, they said producers drag her and said, girl, if we don't get your hug, we got to let you go. So it's going to be interesting to see if Kenya is going to show her, her man on the show. Um, and what is she gonna be doing? Like, Kenya's like, girl, why y'all all in my business? She coming at Cynthia like, girl, why you worry about what I got going on, okay? Why you worry about me when you should be worried about your credit? Portia is back. Will she be talking to Phaedra? Now, it looked like I seen Phaedra ass in the, um, the thing, but that was not her because somebody was playing with one of the kids or something, and I didn't know what was going on. I was like, who is that? I didn't know who that was. So is Portia going to talk to Phaedra? Are we going to see Phaedra? They saying Phaedra begging to be back on the show. Like, I want to know, like, how, like, what is going on? Like, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? Phaedra ass is gone. Like, this will be the first season we ain't seen Phaedra. Like, that is messed up. But Phaedra, girl, you did your dirty. You did your work. You moved on. Um, it doesn't seem, it does not seem like Portia is interested to have any type of a relationship or any type of anything with Candy. She's like, girl, screw her. And Nene is attacking Portia. Said, you did Candy wrong. And Portia said, girl, I don't care. Fuck Candy. Fuck her. <laughs> girl, what you said, that's it. Come on. Now, it looks like Nene and Portia got it to some type of confrontation, girl. She might have shifted Nene's wig because it looked like it was cocked. Nene's wig stayed cocked like a cockeyed man with a cock pistol. Like, girl, I'm not really surprised. Sheree is bad. We ain't seen no Bob, so maybe she's done good enough from last season to not need her husband there. Um, Bob Burger and the Bob the Burger eye, he ain't gonna be wandering around the place. Um, I wonder what Sheree gonna be doing. Sheree got this new sickening blonde Bob. She's kind of redefined herself, so it looks good. Like, the picture that it put up, the promo pic that y'all have is sickening. All the ladies look really, really good. Good. Like y'all look sickening, sickening, sickening. I don't think I seen Kim Zosiak on it. So Kim just like she gonna be part time. Like she got her husband. She ain't worried about them chicks, and he playing um, part time football. But I'm interested in seeing what Real Housewives of Atlanta season ten is gonna give us. The trailer look good, but the trailers always look good. And then we watch the season and see that y'all giving us a lot of filler episodes. Another show that's coming back, Married to Medicine. Married to Medicine will be making its way back. I don't think I got a date of where it's at yet. I'm going to look up before I put the blog post on kingaries.com. But Marriage and Medicine is back. Um, Dr. Jack and husband Curtis is right here. Got a mistress or something. So, woo. It might be because Jackie has been saying that she wants to be in a condo. And Curtis said, I want to sit my old ass down. And I want to be in a house. Like, I want to be good. We're going to find out what's going on with that. Uh, we ain't getting nothing about Toya ass being broke. Has she paid off her debt? Has she paid off Uncle Sam? Like, what's going on with that? 
Um, her and her husband got a little issue or something. Like, she trying to figure out, like, if you beating off, like, what's the team? Hamlin still being Hamlin. My hair ain't perfect, but it's better than all y'all other hoes. Hamlin's so crazy. I love him. But shout out, um, Hamlin, like, for real, for real. I know you got this sickening, like, dental thing going on. But you need to reach out to your boy, because I'm trying to get my bottom grill, you know, you know, together and stuff. I'm trying to be on TV and, like, I want my teeth to look like Nene Leaks too. Like, I want to be like, but damn, but I want to use my real teeth and stuff. I'm trying to use my real teeth, so if you can help a brother out, you can deal. DM me or let me know what the T is, cause I mean, girl, I'm trying to set up a payment arrangement to get my teeth together. So, girl, if you can reach out to me, I appreciate that. Heaven, like she's taking the girls to Barbados. They're gonna be having this "Why Did I Get Married" thing, girl. But ain't nobody sitting off no <laughs> thing, girl. But I watched that and I saw them going. All I can think about was "Why Did I Get Married" too. <laughs> That's all I can think about. Perfect Patty, perfect Patty. That's my move. That's about the only move that I like with Tyler Perry. He wasn't my deal. Find out that everybody in marriage is in shambles. Um, our girl Dr. Simone and her husband, um, you know, got some stuff going on. Dr. Simone, like, what's the deal? Like, what's the what's going on? What what's the issue? Then we get to our girl Quad. Ooh, I knew it was coming. I told y'all previous seasons ago. I believe that Quad's husband is tired of taking care of her ass. I believe he is tired of supporting her stuff. Girl, Puffy Pooch or whatever it is, girl. I know that shit ain't selling. Like, she was like, girl, I'm tired. So they talking, and he, she looking like, Quad, you know what the tea is. Like, you live this grandiose life, and you've been all this on the show. Like, what's name Cecil is tired. He tired. His checking account tired. His credit tired. Like, all of this time, but Quad is a very educated woman. Shout out to Quad. She is on a new show it's called Sister Circle. Quad, I need to check it out. I watched a couple of minutes of it. I haven't had a chance to watch it in all detail because it comes on too early, but it comes on Atlanta on channel 813 or something. I don't know what it's called, but y'all check it out. It's on some stuff. Like, you can check it out. Sister Circle TV. It's funny. We got our boy Funky Dineva there. Funky Dineva is there as DJ Q, um, and he's giving some insightful um, conversations and dialogue. I love Q on there. I love it. I love everything that he's doing. Like the way he's talking and stuff, you can tell that he is very intelligent. So he's doing a good job for that show. And we got a couple of other folks on there. Um, Rashad and Lee, I think that's her name. She's doing a sickening job as well, doing the transitions. You know, things could be a little bit better, but this is only the first, you know, the first time. So they're doing something they're trying to. So support our black folks. Y'all check it out, honey. Check your local listings or whatever and support the show as best you can. It's going to be interesting to see girl Kwan's husband's name is not no damn C. So I, I just thought about that. So I apologize. But I think Cecil is Dr. Simone's husband. So that's why I don't be trying to say these people's names. I'd rather just give them a remix name because that's what I know them as. But um, this season of Marriage and Medicine is going to be lit. And I'm trying to see, you know, where the light is. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm about to go find Trina. Like the blunt. But Marriage and Medicine, Real Housewives of Atlanta coming back on. Fall TV is about to be back. I miss it. I love Fall TV. We also got some of our other shows coming back. We got, um, got How to Get Away with Murder is coming back. We also got the season series finale of Scandal. That's supposed to be coming to an end. I don't watch Scandal. Y'all know that name. I like real, real. When it comes to politics, I need the real shit. That's why I can only watch House of Cards, because House of Cards is just that. I need that real political vibe. But tell me what shows y'all would like for me to review this fall season. Let me know. Now, we know we got to have a couple of people tell me before I actually review it, because there's a lot of stuff. Y'all know I be very busy in the words of Miss Quad. Tell me what y'all think about it. Tell me what y'all want me to review this fall, so I can go ahead and start setting my payment arrangements with Xfinity, so we can work something out, so I can be reviewing that and getting that up for y'all. I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.